Government and business are two very important factors in our lives, and neither one is perfect. The government takes forever to get things done due to a needed yet tedious system of checks, and businesses do not always have the best interests of their workers at heart. Just keeping one or getting rid of both would be inherently problematic and would not make for a functioning society. George Washington famously mentioned that he didn't want America to divide into political parties. Though socialism and capitalism are not parties, they are two economic theories that people take as you can only have one or the other. But that's not true. A capitalist economy with socialist aspects can work. We've seen this play out in Scandinavian countries, where the economy is definitely capitalist, but certain systems are socialized, such as healthcare. The United States could do this, and in some aspects, we already are. We have a public school system that is available to everyone. But if someone wants to pay more money for a better education, they can attend private schools. This leads to competition, where private schools have to work to make themselves worth the money people are spending on them. There is still this sense of competition among us, except entrepreneurs would be competing with public systems in addition to each other. If competition inspires innovation, this should lead to more new ideas since there are more people to compete against. Many people use Elon Musk as an example for why an economy should be entrepreneurship based, but they fail to realize that Elon basically expanded upon a system implemented by the government. Yes, he has done more for space exploration than NASA has in a while, but NASA gave him the foundations with the moon landing and their other expeditions and research. This is another example of how governmental systems and entrepreneurs can work together. The government can lay the, flame, the framework for entrepreneurs to expand on. The government also serves to keep businesses in check and to help them if needed. If a business overuses resources, the government needs to keep them in check and sometimes bail them out. People assume that this would increase government spending, but that is not always the case. According to Nation Master, Sweden, a country that uses this model I'm describing, is number 94 on the list of countries most in debt, while the United States is number 35, with 88% more debt than Sweden. This argues that a mix of capitalism and socialism is best, though of course other factors play into this. So to quote the road to El Dorado, Both is good. And why just pick one when you can combine them both to create a better economy than what each individually could provide? Thank you for watching.